Some of those demonstrators now are marching along the streets of Ben. Our cameras actually caught a heated exchange between some of these protesters and some counter protesters here. What they fighting for? That's the shit. I, I, I don't understand another uh, country. I don't even know what they fighting for, y'all. Peter Sedillas, the owner of this diner on Long Island, put up dozens of posters displaying the faces of the Israeli hostages. He says he was stunned by the reaction. Some DoorDash delivery drivers refused to pick up orders. Mm. Several employees quit. Mm. Business slumped. I believe that innocent people shouldn't be kidnapped in the middle of the night. You know, the statement we were trying to make is bring them. I'm saying all this shit. Y'all don't see me commenting on this shit because I don't know what's going on. My mother said when a damn Jehovah Witness come to your house and you don't understand their religion, don't open the damn door. He says the posters are staying until the hostages come home. Meanwhile, Jeopardy co-host Maya Bialik says she is horrified by the wave of anti-Semitism being seen around the world. I'm scared to send my child. You should be. Right it feels like a nightmare. Just released video shows Israeli troops fighting in Gaza City. Okay, this ain't none of my business, y'all. I'm finna sound off on this hostages. shit. I don't have no comments. I don't know what's going on. I don't I never heard of Gaza and all these other names. Can't pronounce most of them. This shit. Hundreds are expected to leave through the only border crossing into Egypt in the next two days. Back here at home, imagine how terrible.